Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an HP Chromebook 11 G3. I'm going to show you how to tear down and disassemble it so you know how to access the various components inside. Hopefully this helps you on whatever project you're working on. So first thing we're going to do is shut the computer down, make sure that it's powered off correctly, make sure that it's unplugged. We're then going to flip it over to access the screws. You have these two screws near the top left corner, these two near the top right, these four along the bottom, this one in the top middle, and then I've taken off the rubber feet on top to show you there's two screws under these, under those rubber feet. Those rubber feet are attached by double-sided tape, so they should come up fairly easily with uh, some sort of pry tool, and then you can get at those screws. When you're done that, you can start prying the bottom case and palm rest apart. Now, instead of a seam on the edge of the of the computer, what you're going to do is you're going to actually take the seam up here. So this palm rest sits inside the bottom case. So instead of a seam running along the outside edge, we're going to pry up the palm rest from the bottom case. Once you do that, you can't pull the palm rest right off. As you can see, there's a skinny ribbon cable coming from the touchpad and a thicker ribbon cable coming from the keyboard. We're going to have to disconnect those before taking the palm rest off. Now this is the keyboard port here, and this is the touchpad port there. So in order to remove these, this black clip right there, that opens up kind of like a book cover. You're gonna put your pry tool right up in it from here, and then go from the bottom toward the top, right over your ribbon cable under the black clip very carefully, and pop that clip up. But be careful, these clips are very breakable. Um, if you do break them, you won't be able to find a, re a replacement. So be very careful popping those up. Once you get those unplugged from the motherboard, you'll be able to remove your palm rest and you're left with this. As a side note, guys, when I'm working on computers like this and going into them, I have them sitting on an anti-static mat. Either an anti-static mat or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging your computer as you're poking around in them. If you need any help with tools or supplies, there'll be a link above, also below in the description to my Amazon store. In my store, guys, there's several lists. Repair tools is one of them. Uh, you'll see there some commonly used hand tool sets, some anti-static gear, uh, things that I use commonly in my shop. You can check out the link above. I'll also have it below in the description. Talking intro. So the first thing we do when going into any computer is remove the battery. So this is your battery down here. It's held in by several screws. You can see a screw here, here, there, two screws in the middle, annoyingly, and then a screw over here. So take out all your screws, and then you're looking at this battery port right there where the wires plug into the motherboard. As usual, guys, don't pull on the wires to get this out. You could damage them or rip them out of the plug. You have two little grips on either side here. Use your fingernails or pliers or a plastic pry tool, but wedge that out of that port there by the plug, not by the wires. Once you remove your battery, you can get at the other components. You have your Wi-Fi card here, which is held down by a single screw. Once that screw is removed, you can unplug it from the port. And these are the black and white an antenna wires. They run all along here under the motherboard through the right hinge assembly. And those just snap up. You pull those directly up out of the computer and those just snap off. This is your power jack right here. Those wires plug into the motherboard here. Same as the battery plug. You just take it out by wiggling that plug out. This is your LCD cable, which runs down here through the left hand hinge assembly. That's a similar plug to the keyboard ribbon cable. You would simply pop that black clip up the same way. Be careful with that as well. This is your cardboard here, which plugs into the motherboard there. You take that out the same way as any ribbon cable. These are your speaker wires that come here and it plugs into the motherboard right there. You pull that out like the battery plug. You pull that directly out there. And then all the screws that hold the motherboard down, as with a lot of computers, will have white triangles or arrows near them. That's how you know which screws take the motherboard out. So that's how you would get at most components here. If you want any help with the replacement parts, guys, um, for example, the battery is a PE03XL model, HP. You can use that to search for a replacement. You can also search by this HP part number here, 767-068-005. I'll have all this information below in the description. Uh, this is an 
0.4 volt, 37 watt hour battery, um, as well as the uh, part number of the motherboard. It's right there, 783-089-001. So I'll have a, a bunch of that information down bottom in the description to help you out. Hopefully that was helpful, guys. I hope I uh, sh showed you how to get into the computer, how to access various components. Any questions, check out the FAQs. Leave me a question or comment if, if you don't see your comment there and I can help you out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And now I'll just end the video with a quick word to my affiliate partner, a great place to get games, Humble Bundle. At Humble, guys, you can get the latest games at great prices. They also have great ways to save when you're buying. You can bundle your games together in a purchase instead of buying them one at a time. You can also join Humble Choice, which is a monthly subscription service that gets you free games every month. And you can also feel good about your purchases because Humble has donated a ton of money to charity. And every time you pay your Humble Choice membership, every time you use my link, charity gets more. So it's a great website, guys. Great place to get games. Check it out with the link above. I'll also have the link below in my description.